Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. Today we're going to talk about bacterial cell wall synthesis. Bacterial cell walls are complex structures that are essential for the survival of bacteria. They are responsible for providing shape, strength, and protection to bacterial cells. As you can see in this animation, the bacterial cell wall consists of several layers, including the peptidoglycan layer, which is the outermost layer. The peptidoglycan layer is made up of long chains of sugars and amino acids, which are cross-linked by short peptides. The process of bacterial cell wall synthesis begins with the formation of the peptidoglycan layer. The building blocks for this layer are synthesized inside the bacterial cell and then transported to the outside of the cell, where they are assembled into the peptidoglycan layer. In order to synthesize the peptidoglycan layer, the bacterial cell uses a number of enzymes, including transpeptidases, carboxypeptidases, and glycosyl transferases. These enzymes work together to create the long chains of sugars and amino acids, as well as the short peptides that cross-link them. Once the peptidoglycan layer has been assembled, the bacterial cell must continue to maintain and modify it in order to adapt to changes in its environment. This process is known as cell wall remodeling, and it involves the addition and removal of various chemical groups to the peptidoglycan layer. As bacterial cells continue to grow and divide, they must constantly synthesize new cell wall material in order to maintain their shape and protect themselves from their environment. This process is a critical part of bacterial physiology, and understanding it is essential for developing new antibiotics and other treatments for bacterial infections. That's all for today's vlog. I hope you found this introduction to bacterial cell wall synthesis informative. If you have any questions or comments, please put it and subscribe my channel.